St. Lucia's lucrative share of the regional cruise market has attracted one of the world's leading cruise port operators, Global Port Holdings, GPH. GPH, led by its chairman, Mehmet Kutman, continues to expand its international footprint and has dropped anchor in the Caribbean. GPH is now inching closer to docking in St. Lucia. Honorable Prime Minister, it's my personal promise, assuming we sign the concession in January 2023, I'll finish everything by 2024. As, as Minister Hilaire insisted again for the boardwalk, we're going to get it done. The GPH management team presented to Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre and members of his cabinet their ambitious development proposal to transform both the cash trees and Soufre waterfronts. The intent on any investment such as this is not only to increase the spend, but to increase those numbers. Um, and ideally, if we can get St. Lucia up to a, mil a million passengers within the next two to three years, it will bode very positively for the St. Lucian public. Um, this slide also, sh also shows and reiterates the, the spend concept that we really want people to spend more on the island and therefore is a, there's a direct infusion of, of wealth into the economy. General Manager for the GPH's Bahamas cruise port, Mike Mora Jr., detailed how the company's vision for the Castries and Soufre waterfronts can elevate cruise passenger arrivals to the island, increase cruise passenger expenditure and re-establish St. Lucia as the premier cruise destination of the sub-region. And with this opportunity to partner with local folks from St. Uh, Lucia, uh, what we want to do is elevate that experience, elevate the product in partnership with locals to give these, these visitors who have cash in their pockets an opportunity to spend more because the money is there. It's just they're looking for that opportunity. And the fact is they're spending more money in other places. So it's not as if they're not willing to spend. And so we, ought, we believe that, you know, when you consider the, the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that come to St. Lucia by cruise every single year, there's real money sitting there waiting to be tapped into. GPH and the Peer Administration took the first step to realizing this multi-million dollar venture on October 20th. I'm happy that we are developing that partnership, understanding that everybody has a, has a benefit. You must make a fair return on your investment. We expect you to do that. that. That is why you are in business. But you want our people to benefit. We want our country to benefit. Prime Minister Pierre, Tourism and Investment Minister, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hilaire, Chairman Kutman, and Mike Mora Jr. signed an MOU that could pave the way for the construction of improved berthing facilities to accommodate Oasis-class cruise liners upgraded vending and duty-free shopping zones, a new fishing village and ferry facility in Bannans Bay, a new dock in Soufre, and a one-mile-long boardwalk along the Castries waterfront from Laplace Carinage to Point Seraphin. If you just close your eyes and visualize, cruise passengers walking from Point Seraphin to Castries, and along that boardwalk, multitude of local entrepreneurs selling different products, different, you know, attractions will give more locals a chance to participate in the tourism industry, to earn a livelihood, and to expose a different side of St. Lucia. GPH's redevelopment proposal invites greater participation in the local tourism sector and can create new business opportunities for St. Lucia's tourism industry stakeholders. From the office of the Prime Minister, Brihani Isidore.